what were you kind of anticipating coming in the draft and how you like where you turned out? I mean, it's a blessing. Only God can control where I went. And so happy he chose for me to be in Nashville. So I'm, I'm glad to bring my talent to where, wherever he want me to be. You, uh, I guess, have switched from safety to linebacker. How's that kind of adjustment gone for you? How do you think it will will be in the league? I mean, it's a great adjustment. It's just got to do some learning. Got to start all over from score one. Like, I learned football all over again. But I'm ready for it. Embrace it. I'm going to go put on my talent to display and do whatever I can to make the team great. Titans viewing you as a, as a safety or as a linebacker? Linebacker. What'd you play weight wise at Miami and what are you now? Uh, right now I'm 228, 229, and I play around 225, 220 and when I was at Miami. There's so many guys that do make that transition from safety to linebacker at the next level, James. How how important was that for you to be able to make sure that you could be as versatile as possible? I mean, I can play any position, even though I haven't been coached at it, I haven't been fully at one position. So, I mean, I'm really – I'm open to whatever come to the tape. And so happened I'm linebacker for the Tennessee Titans. I'm ready to do it right now today. What adjustments do you expect to have to make to be able to play linebacker? I mean, everything. It's a whole new position for me. I, I got to learn a whole new thing from square one. So, I'm embracing it. I'm open. I'm willing to do it. I'm dying to do it. And I can't wait to get up there. Your speed, something that maybe help you make that transition in positions? I mean, yes. You got to be able to be fast and play in gaps, in between gaps, sideline and sideline, drop back and cover. So I, I feel like my speed, my coverage, my, my instincts, my ability, my want to, will help me a long way at Tennessee Titans. What was the phone call like? I mean, it was, it was a... It was very emotional for me, waiting all three days, to, waiting to see my name called, to be the first one out of my family with my name called. I mean, it was a blessing. Uh, I thank God for that, most importantly. And it was an amazing phone call that it broke me down inside. What did you watch the draft and who did you watch it with and what was the reaction there when, when they called you? I mean, it was a it was a, it was a tough process. We we all sitting here just waiting. Um, we waiting to I'm waiting just like how they waiting, waiting on that phone call, and finally got that phone call. It it, it just broke me down. And I'm with my friends and family, so it's amazing to do it one last time with them before I get on the road. Where are you? Uh, I'm in I'm in Miami right now. Like for a lot of, the, I got the whole fam here, whole friends, everybody excited. Can you describe, you know, you, you mentioned that it broke you down. Can you describe what exactly was going through your mind, uh, what your where your thoughts were sort of leading you to? I mean, I just wanted the opportunity. That's all. That's, that's really what's going through my mind. One team to give me one opportunity. That's all it, it takes for me. I know it's going to take for me. And I know who I am as a person. It's going to take me a long way in the NFL. So, I mean, that... Really, it was just that opportunity that got presented to me to be in the Tennessee time. How closely do you follow the league, and how much do you know about the team? I mean, I know a lot about the team. They just took my other linebacker that I, I, I really love from North Carolina. So then they took Jarvis Brownlee. So, I mean, Tennessee owned something. They really want some, and they got some for sure. Do you and Jarvis know each other at all, being uh, thrown up yes. close to each other? Grew up with Jarvis. That's somebody who I always competed with, who helped me compete, helped me be the best version of James. So I appreciate him that. And, and getting to be on the same team when it was amazing. It's a, it's a, it's a great feeling. You, much, you heard from him yet? Uh, Not yet. But I know I'm going to hear from him soon. How much special teams have you played? How much special teams do you expect to play here? I mean, I, I play all special teams at Miami. And I'm, I'm willing to play every team kick off kick turn punt whatever whatever they want me to do I'm I'm here they got a they got a mind that want to do it all did you say you played all of those at Miami yes yes sir you ever been in Nashville nah this will be my first time what have you heard about it 
Uh, I, I ain't hear nothing about it yet. I don't even know how it looks. So hopefully, <laughs> when I can't wait to get out there and see it. What What have these last three three days been like? When you mentioned the nurse, but just walk me through these last couple of days for me. I mean, these last couple of days just been like really that opportunity. I just I don't, I ain't nervous. I ain't. I just want that opportunity that got presented to me today. That's all I really wanted. Did you Truly. stay? Did you sit there and watch pick by pick, or did you have to take a break from time to time to, to get your mind off of it? I sat right down on the couch, pick by pick, waiting for my name to get called, waiting on that phone call. So, what, it, were, it, people, it, what were people saying around you as, as the picks were going by? Nothing. They just, we all just waiting on that call. That's all I told them. We all, I'm waiting on that call, just like y'all. So, that's pretty much it. You get discouraged at all during that? Never, never discouraged, never, never questioned myself, never doubted myself. I just wanted the opportunity that got presented to me today. What are you going to do tonight? Really go celebrate with my friends and family before I get back to work, about the work to be done. Yeah. James, thanks so much. Thank you.